Hey everyone, in this video we're going to explore how to use Google Fonts in our WYSIWYG web pages. First thing we need to do is navigate over to google.com forward slash fonts. That will uh, take us to the Google Font page and show us all of the available fonts to date. Okay, as you can see right here, as of the recording of this date, there are 818 available fonts. And on the right hand side over here, there's a way to limit or to narrow down the uh, fonts that you're looking for. Right now, by default, all of them are highlighted. I'm going to uncheck all of these except for the handwriting fonts just to, to narrow these down. Okay, so right now once the page loads, it's going to show us all of the available handwriting fonts that Google has to offer. I'm going to pick one of these and let's just take a look at this dancing script right here. Uh, once you find a font you want to use, you want to click on the plus sign right next to it. And this little box down here will uh, up here. We're going to click on that to open it up. And the first thing we're going to want to do is download this font to our computer. So we're going to click the download button right here. We're going to save it. Once it's open we can double click on it. And we're just going to use the regular. So I'm going to double click on that. And there it, there's what the dancing script regular looks like. We're going to click install. And once it's done installing, that will turn gray, just like it did right there. One, we can go ahead and X out. And X out of that screen as well. And get back to the Google Fonts page. Next thing we want to do is to highlight this embed code right here. Okay, so just to recap, when you come to the Google Font page, there's two steps. After choosing the font that you want, you got to download it and install it on your computer. And then you got to highlight and copy this embed font. This is our embed code right here. I'm sorry. So we're going to copy that. And once we've done those two steps, that's it. We can head up back over to WYSIWYG Web Builder. Now we're going to embed that font that we just downloaded. Go to page, page HTML, and then we're going to click the second tab over, which is between head and head tags. As you can see, I already have something in there from something I was playing with earlier. We're going to delete that and then control V. We'll paste that script in that we just downloaded. So there we go, there's the Google Fonts Dancing Script Font. Once we do that, we can click OK. Let's put some text on our page. Text. And this was Dancing Script. Okay. And we're going to highlight that. And right here under Format, Styles, we're going to click on that little corner tab right there. And we're going to do Custom Style, Add, and we're going to go down to the Font Family, highlight it, and using the drop down tab right here, we're going to find that script we just downloaded, which was Dancing Script. There it is right there. And I click OK. So what that does is that will create a font or a, a new uh, custom uh, style, and it renamed it uh, Style One. Now, if we want, we can highlight that, edit it, and then come right here, Style Name, just so we know what it is for future reference. 
We can put dancing script. Let's click OK. And there it changed style one to dancing script. And we're going to say OK. All right. So here we got our dancing script. Now what we got to do is we do have to go back up from the drop down menu and then find that uh, style that we just created. So dancing script. And as you see, it just changed our font to that dancing script. And I'm going to play with the styling here just a little bit. I'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. 36, and I'm going to play with the color here. Let's do a red just so it stands out. Then, once, then click out of it so there's no highlighting boxes there. Come up to preview, default browser. Try this again. Preview, default browser. And there it is. There's our dancing scripts in red, just like we had it on our page here. And that's all there is to Google Fonts. There's two steps. Download it to your computer. Copy that embed code. Place the uh, embed code in the page page HTML between the head and head tags. When you click on that tag tab, you can see the script that we loaded. Then go into the style manager, do custom style, add, then go into the font family, find the font that we just downloaded, choose it. It will automatically create a new style. Typically it'll be style one, style two, style three, depending on how many you have. I like to go back into edit and rename it to the font that I'm using just so I'm clear on what's going on. Then you click OK. And then you might have to go back up to your style selector again and make sure that you've highlighted your font and then choose that script uh, script uh, that yeah that style again I'm sorry and um, then preview your page you should be good to go that's all there is to it to Google fonts it's fairly easy um, now I want to get want to go overboard on using too much Google fonts only because it does affect the load time slightly so if your page is just full of Google fonts then it will affect how fast your page is loaded Google fonts are really good for headlines or H1, H2 tags, but um, as far as the, the main body of your website, I really would stick to default fonts on that. But it's totally up to you, but uh, it's an easy way to add a little bit more um, character to your page. Google Web Fonts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.